day has arrived. I'm leaving my home country and going back to London and I'm really nervous about it this time around because I have no idea what's waiting for me there. And I'm also nervous about getting my two suitcases from the airport to the hotel all by myself. It's gonna be a struggle and right now I just wish stairs didn't exist. I finally made it to London. I'm staying at the Rim Hotel in the Basewater area and I had a bit of a heart attack right now because I thought I forgot my phone charger at home but luckily I found it and it's alright. I don't have to like go running around right away looking for a phone charger but yeah the flight was alright. I was searched like a criminal at the airport. My luggage was searched my hand luggage was searched, I was searched, so yeah, it was weird. That's what you have to go through if you carry a lot of electronics with you, like me. But yeah, all was good, the flight was fine, um, although it was really strange because we were flying for like two and a half hours and it usually takes an hour and 45 minutes to get to London. So my dad was joking and asking me if we are flying through Africa. <laughs> yeah, the flight was really long, which was strange. And then we got served olives and cheese in oil and then some crackers like the last time I flew with Croatia Airlines um, and my like cheese was covered with mold <laughs> so I didn't eat anything um, but I had lunch with my parents before I left Zagreb and um, yeah I'm not really hungry right now although I think I will go to Burger King in about an hour because that's just the easiest and quickest way and I have um, TV up in my room um, so I can you know take the food home and eat it in front of the TV but yeah the two suitcases and um, stairs situation went all right I guess I was struggling a bit um, but I had some people helping me, which was really nice. If I had to do it all by myself, I would probably die. Because my suitcases are really heavy and it's really hard to take two of the stairs at the same time. Anyway, um, I don't know what else I can tell you. I can show you the room, I guess? It's really tiny, so I hope you'll be able to see, but this is the door when you come in. Um, here's the bed. And there's a lot of cables on my bed because you know, I had a panic search because I was trying to find my phone charger. Um, so here's the bed. There's the TV and the little table and chair. There's my suitcase. Um, this is um, a wardrobe. And here is the bathroom, which looks like there's the toilet, sink with mirror. And shower. Okay, I'll try to organize my stuff a little bit, although I don't really have too much stuff I need to take out because I'm only staying here for two days. I don't have much stuff with me because I'm moving in on Monday and um, when I went back to Slovenia I only... I didn't really take a lot of clothes with me back home. I left 99.8% of my stuff at my friend uh, Lucia's place. Um, and then I only took like essentials and this is what I have with me now as well apart from like a pillow and some food um, that I brought with me but yeah I mostly just have like electronics and stuff so I need to organize that and um, I need to find my wallet and stuff so that I can go to Burger King the internet works woohoo and the TV as well <laughs> I decided not to go to Burger King, I'll just go to Marks and Spencer, which is a grocery store and I'll probably pick up some like pre-made salad 
and I want to pick up some popcorn because I want to have a movie night. <laughs> I'm so lame, but I saw that there's a movie I haven't watched yet on the TV at 9 p.m. And currently it's... Uh, it's almost 8, so I still have time to pick up some food and take a shower and then have a movie night. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to Marks and Spencer's now. I'm back at the hotel now and these are the stuff that I picked up. Um, I got this chicken and bacon layered salad. Um, I got some bread. I got some four soft wholemeal finger rolls. They were reduced. Oh, by the way, if while well, you're traveling to like, I don't know, England as a tourist or if you're moving here or whatever, if you don't know this yet here, because I don't think they do this in my country, but after, I don't know, 7 p.m. or something like that, they reduce like a whole bunch of stuff in their stores because of the expiration date and you can get things for really cheap. So for example, these rolls were reduced and then I also saw a sandwich which was like reduced from 350 to 85 pence. If you're on a budget or just don't like want to spend so much money on food go to the store after like 7 p.m. and there will be a whole bunch of stuff that's reduced um okay so the next thing i got is this salted popcorn and i also got this pressed pink lady apple juice i have about 20 minutes before the movie starts so i'll just go uh take a shower now and um i'll talk to you later I just thought i would show you a funny thing i have in my suitcase <laughs> My mom bought me a pillow <laughs> and it's actually really light and like squeezable <laughs> so I decided to take it with me because it looks really comfy and um, yeah this is how my suitcase looks like <gasps> oh my god I totally forgot I have these my grandma made me these and they're so good they're like um, in my language they're called peaches I think <laughs> but they're so good I totally forgot I kept them that's so cool. I actually don't have any PJs with me because I have um, all of them at Lucia's and I didn't bring more because I have too many already. So I'll just wear these leggings to bed that I wore in my previous vlog and then these um, top that looks kind of like a pajama top anyways. At least my sister says it does. But yeah, it's also really comfy so that will work. I'm all freshened up now and it feels so nice. The only thing I'm annoyed about is the fact that my hair is all wet because they have that um, annoying shower head that doesn't move. It's like just there in the wall. This is how it looks like and they don't have like any portable shower heads and I absolutely hate this from the bottom of my heart unless I'm washing my hair because then it's kind of handy. By the way, I hope the other hotel guests enjoyed my shower concert i totally forgot that i wasn't home and i was singing while taking a shower i'm so cool i just started watching a movie it's called role models and i wanted to eat a salad and then i realized i don't have a fork uh but luckily there was a spoon in the like hotel room so this will have to do dinner in bed and speaking of the movie I think I already watched it and I feel like it's gonna be crap. Yep, definitely watched this movie before because I don't really remember this scene. Mm, I don't know, should I just switch channels? By the way, eating salad with a little spoon is totally doable in case you were wondering. An hour later, I'm finally done eating the salad. And I'm so full, I'm definitely not eating popcorn today as well because I just can't. And um, yeah, I'm actually getting really sleepy right now. It's 10pm, which is, I usually don't go to bed that early, but I'm feeling really sleepy and tired. And um, I think I'm just gonna go like to sleep. Oh yeah, now I really am going to talk to you tomorrow. Hey guys, I just woke up and... 
I am not feeling very well. Um, I didn't get much sleep because the walls in this hotel are so thin that I hear everything. Like I hear every single move other hotel guests make and I hear what they say. And next to me there are some really loud Spanish people so I didn't get much sleep. And then my like shoulders and my upper back hurt a lot. I don't know if it's because of the pillow or what but uh, I'm kind of shattered. <laughs> um, so I have about half an hour now to get breakfast because they'll stop serving it at 11 a.m. and now it's 10.30 so I better get down and hurry. I still need to find a breakfast room. I have no idea where it is. So yeah, I'll see you when I come back to my room. Found the breakfast room, ate the breakfast. Um, it was very basic but good. I was actually alone in the breakfast room because I was so late, I guess, I don't know. Um, most people who stay at hotels are obviously tourists and, you know, they like uh, an early start. So I guess it was very crowded in the morning, but now there was no one there. And I was like the last person to come for breakfast, I guess. Well, not the last one, because actually when I left, another like guy came downstairs. No idea what I'll be doing today. Um, I'll definitely go out and go for a walk, although I have really uncomfortable shoes on. I have all at loose place um, and I don't know, I, I won't be able to do much walking but I think I'll like take a stroll through Hyde Park and then I'll also probably go get a late lunch slash early dinner and yeah, it will be the first time for me to go to a restaurant all by myself which should be interesting but yeah, I just had breakfast now all by myself and it was fine um, yeah, I have problems, I know uh, but yeah, the weather outside, I'll just show it to you as you can see, the weather outside is not particularly spectacular so, um, I'm not sure how much walking I'll be doing today and, you know, the shoes. Um, so yeah, but I will go out just to, like, clear my head a bit. And then for the rest of the time, I'll probably be, I don't know, I, I could write a blog post or two, I guess. Um, because I won't have time in the next few days because I'll be moving. So maybe that, and maybe I can go edit this footage from the last two days. I find that it's easier for me to just like vlog every day, like all day long, and then go edit footage at night. Um, because I remember what I was doing, and if I do it bit by bit, you know, it doesn't take me such a long time to edit my weekly vlog. I think I was doing some weekly vlogs back in the summertime. I know that I was editing all the footage on the same day and it took me ages. So uh, yeah, it's easier to do it bit by bit, I guess. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna go do something now. I'm just gonna open my laptop and answer some emails, I guess, and then I'll go out. It's almost 4 p.m. now and I still haven't left the room. I just don't feel like going anywhere because the weather outside is like really cold and just not foggy, but very cloudy and just bleh. Um, anyway, I wrote a blog post today and I was chatting to my friends and my sister. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything I did today. And I was also chatting to my mom and we're looking up um, like airplane tickets and hotel rooms because my parents are planning to come over here for the spring break around, you know, the 1st of May and then my sister um, is saying she wants to come here earlier because she has a lot of tests in school um, around that time and um, I think she'll be coming over at the end of February for her winter break so fingers crossed that happens um, but yeah, this was everything I did. Now I actually just turned on the TV and I saw this. Um, yeah, I have no idea this is the thing. <laughs> it's actually quite bizarre. <laughs> it's 6 p.m. and I was booking flights all afternoon long. So my sister is now coming to visit me at the end of February and my parents are coming over at the end of April. Now I'm actually just gonna go to Burger King because I don't feel like going to a restaurant or anything like that. I'm so tired and I'll just bring something to eat to my room. So yeah, I'll go to Burger King now. Dinner time! I got the Chicken Royale meal that comes with a sandwich and fries and then they had this self-service machine thingy 
um, with tons of fizzy drinks, which I don't drink. Um, but yeah, I opted for still Fanta with strawberry flavor, which I haven't tasted before. Um, but yeah, I hope it will be all right. It smells very artificial, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it, but I have water here, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> it's not that bad, but it tastes like those fruit ice lollies, if you know what I'm talking about. 